G'day, thanks for coming to the lab. We've got our 650, 700, 750 maybe horsepower Nissan K12 March on a bit of a diet due to lockdown in New Zealand. I'm trying to give you guys a day of progress every video. Yesterday's video we finished up with a couple of brackets had been made up in here to support these corners a bit better than what they were which wouldn't have been hard because they were like a cold wet fish I've made the bracket up in the top here very very simple I don't know if we can see that from in here I'm not, I can't even see the screen is there a bracket there let's hope so if there's not too bad so that's done with a couple of riv nuts that was just um, actually some Honda ATV guard clips there's a few of these hiding around in the car they're good value for money those things uh, that's all that was holding those in the past the whole front of the car was slightly just not right crooked things weren't aligning properly we're still not perfect because we've got broken clips and all sorts of things we'll get a new bumper for this at some point in time uh, one of the advantages of starting with a k12 march brain spanking new front bumper depending on where you get it from and who you are and what price you're paying but under 200 bucks brain spanking new from nissan versus the 300 zx that i was racing in nz superlap series if i ding the bumper on that that's 700 bucks headlights cheapest chips too they're like a a couple of hundred bucks or something brand spanking new like 50 or 60 dollars or something second hand versus um, about three thousand dollars for a pair of headlights on the z32 depending on which which ones you're buying anyway we got as far as there's a panel that lives in here on the back side of this panel was the power steering pump the power steering pump is on the bench here that pump plus this hardware plus the panel that's in the car six and a half kgs which is a bit of a really are we trying to make this thing lighter i've sort of looked into and thought about whether we're ditching this and going with other systems now k12 march standard they come with an electric steering column and so the rack is i guess you would call a manual rack so it does not have hydraulics and all that sort of carry on so you don't have all this plumbing to deal with and it's a smaller lighter rack would actually give us more space in here which would have been handy but i quite like my fancy woodwood steering column set up and don't really want to go back to the original factory one and have to make all the mounts and attach it to the roll bar here somehow and it's just yeah we won't be doing that option i talked about maybe putting a pump on the engine We'll see in the future. In the meantime, so that we don't get too carried away and this doesn't turn into a seven-year build, this will be going back in the car. That assembly, as it is there, I'll do something new with this bracket. So I'll put this back on because I need to make sure that when I put this panel back in, it's going to be in the right spot because we've changed some things under here. This is a, a new piece. The old piece is somewhere on the trolley somewhere on the trolley of things that won't be going back in the car so this is all lined up this is now level with the rest of the floor pan under the car going through to the rear diffuser so we've got a lower frontal profile of car and more aerodynamic underneath etc etc and the difference that has made in doing that you can see these screw holes no longer line up with the rivnuts that are in behind there that's how much higher the floor is in that area of the car another thing i've just looked at and thought why did you do it that way is this panel doesn't need to be as big as this we've got a lot of stuff doubling up here there's a whole strip of aluminium about that high that doesn't need to be there because there's the edge of the chassis rail there two two layers of relatively thick steel so drill and tap into that will hold and eventually one day when it lets go we can put riv nuts in instead so we can ditch these riv nuts there's one gram or two gram or whatever it is <laughs> so we can ditch those drill and tap into here and shorten up this panel and then we're talking tens of grams so not much yesterday's efforts if you watched the video and i made an error with editing i had the scales set up over there and i turned them on and that was as far as we got 
the weight of what we removed yesterday from the car was the equivalent of a full can of coca-cola it's not much but if somebody put a full can of coca-cola in your car and you're racing them and you guys were neck and neck all the time you'd be a bit annoyed about that it can make a difference right choppy choppy drill and tap time so that's our reinvented panel quite a bit lighter well, i don't know what are you going to guess that's probably five ten percent lighter than what it was before not that it weighs a heck of a lot but some there's all the bits there that have come off the panel all the hardware that was to mount the pump in this bracket and this bracket everything that was needed um, here's our new setup everything that's needed to put it on there don't worry about all the extra holes it's kind of a prototype panel now because there's a piece that i need out the front and i want to put a fold up the back here to give it a bit more strength so whatever we've taken out of there we need to add a few grams back for whatever's happening here but uh turn this on i'll remember to show this piece this time the previous video i slipped up and didn't show it to you um what we had removed was essentially a can of coke so with the same weight as that's actually heavier than i thought hey eight there you go i was going to say 870 but it rounded itself anyway 870 grams for that whole arrangement that went on to here on the other side obviously to bolt that up and our new setup pretty good 616 grams lighter it's not bad it's two cans of coke or close to amazing you wouldn't think okay so three cans of coke in the last couple of days that's right eh? i'll be able to have a drink before i go out racing yay it's in there believe me it's way 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 down in there so yep you can still get the cap off there we go it's uh not going to be the easiest to get fluid into but it never was and i've managed to move it down a tiny little bit and forward a tiny little bit so good for c of g etc there's there's been a whole lot of stuff in this build that it's all about moving it to the right place to get the balance as good as possible we got it pretty much bang on it's really good um it might actually end up being a little bit heavy on the front now with that lovely HGT precision sequential gearbox being 30 kgs at least lighter than the original gearbox that we had so yep right um really got to look at probably these baffles on the front end here we're monday afternoon three o'clock i've still got tomorrow to kill then wednesday hopefully we're back might be able to get some bits for abby and get on with her this one here is not actually a priority this is time killing well at least i'm consistent with my silly things i've done in the past although i know why this side's like this the, with the panel coming up much higher than what you would think it would need to you'd think you could stay down here the surface isn't flat right so it's got a big doofer in it and it's got to go around this uh, it's probably a gearbox mount I'm picking all the engine mounts for the other side maybe I'm not even sure how these engines were configured can't remember um, took the engine out of this one I should know so um, this panel is only carbon fiber it weighs nothing but we've got to adjust the heights and everything anyway as you can see it's all wrong because same reason to other side this panel down the bottom here is higher up so i'll get rid of these rib nuts same deal as we did on the other side i'll trim this to suit make a start there yes i know i said i was going to do these baffles here but i've been distracted again oh dear we've lost half the front of the car again just looking at that one there it's actually reasonable thickness material and it's it's going to work it's not necessarily pretty that one we can replace that's quite thick i'll do that later 
I'm going to pack up soon for today, have a shorter day for once. To the side here, again, that's actually reasonable thickness material, sensible for the job that's doing, so that can stay. Over here, we have the piece. This is this is the original bit, right? And this looks nicer because it was quite new. Uh, the other piece that I've made to replace this was um, material that's already done a few laps on this car. So that goes in there like that. Seals that off. I mean, I could potentially run that straight down instead of folding it over the top of the fitting. Well, I could put some foam under here as well to seal that off a little bit better. I don't think it's that critical. It'll be job done good enough. Um, sorry, that's probably a bit loud, wasn't it? That's 2 mil, I think. This is like 1.2, I guess. I've not measured them. Just guessing. Zero. That puppy on there. Is it going to move? Last time it went up for a little bit. Okay, 191 grams. That was loud too, wasn't it? Look at that. 72 grams, is it? 78 grams. 78 grams lighter. Can do the same job. Good. So we've lost, oh, I can't even remember another can of coke I guess today or something like that doing that pump down there those mounts that's about all we've achieved isn't it and that oh we made that panel smaller and we did that one over there and show you that that fits nicely now aluminium washer under that because it got very close to the edge I did have a slight miscalculation there but that's okay it will survive rivnuts disappeared Thinking I might put the big hole saw through here somewhere one day, but not today. Same deal here. This is just a big steel plate on the end of the chassis. It's really not going to be doing a lot. That can go. And same with that one. That can go. Got to make something to come across here. Like I say, just to give us something to put this on. You can't have this much stuff out here unsupported. It just will not work. There's that bracket that I made up. Just to hold the top of the bumper steady. Okay. That's it. Oh, let's bolt that thing on. Magic. So I even did a little speed bump to go over the well. Where the two tanks are separated. I need to tidy that up a little bit. It's got a bit of a dent there. That's fine. Beautiful. Right. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment. All that sort of carry on. Not exactly 100% certain what I'm going to be up to tomorrow. Really running out of materials to continue with this. I want to do a, a big baffle thingy around the front here that integrates into the front bumper correctly. But I can't. I just don't have material. on. That's, that's all we've got as far as sensible thickness. Even that's 1.6. It's too much really. Never mind. Wednesday. Get some stuff on Wednesday. Oh, look. It's a mess. Right, cheers, boy.